Alright, what is going on guys? Today we are watching The Eminence in Shadow episode 4. In the last episode we had, uh, well, the a bit of a time skip actually. Uh, we had Sid moving on into the capital and going to this prestigious kind of swordsman school, I believe is what it's called. can't remember. Uh, um, they train like Dark Knights or Black Knights or something. Um, same school his sister went to, pretty cool. Um, we haven't seen his sister yet, if she's still here or if she's graduated, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, we met up with him. He's in pretty rundown kind of place, rundown. Um, and he's got two friends whose name I've forgotten, but that's pretty cool. He's blending in background character. Oh, so he was trying for anyway. Uh, ended up being dared to um, ask out the, the you know the most popular girl in school, thinking that yeah he's gonna fuck it up so he can remain a background character. She ended up saying yes to him. We find out the reasoning why is that she doesn't want to marry this other guy. Um, they have many a dispute and then um, yeah she's now gone missing I believe that the uh, the rich guy that she's um, wanting to marry not wanting to marry um, has kidnapping her and um, it's kind of what happened in the previous world um, so it's kind of a, a mirror of that really so again he has to go save her um, but yeah, because she did say this, uh, everybody, nobody's perfect, everybody has their quirks. This guy's quirk will be kidnapping women, most likely. That's what I believe. I could be wrong, but I feel like I'm right. <laughs> so I guess we'll see. Overall, very excited for this episode. So as always, guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. And let's go into this episode right now. So who has she been kidnapped by? Yeah, broken ass prison right next to her. This is interesting. What the hell in the Jutsu Kaisen is that? Huh? Who are you, weird ass? Get some sleep. Yeah, you're just gonna put it on her legs. She's being very calm about this. What is with this guy? Obsessed with blood. I want to be right about this uh, guy that she wants to marry being the one that kidnapped her, but maybe he's not. I don't know. Minor character <laughs> material. Such a high degree of NPC ness. Lol. It doesn't actually hurt that much. <laughs> yeah, he's not bothered by the pain at all. He's so unfazed about getting tortured. That's so funny. This dude has taken a lot of blood. She's so unbothered. <laughs> I hate seeing anything to do with needles. Like, I don't mind needles in real life, but watching someone... Especially this. She's getting her blood stolen from her. I hate it. Oh no, how could they? I would absolutely not be kicking the shit out of this cursed looking thing. God, this dude's a freak. Force feed me porridge or some shit, yeah? Oh, this is her sister. And that's the dude she wants to marry. Oh, no, she doesn't want to marry. I keep mixing that up. I gotta admit, I do like long-haired, red redhead anime characters. Yeah, see, why now? Maybe he didn't take her. I don't know. Because he surely be trying to pin all this on Sid. See, he believes him. Like, what is... I don't know. I, maybe he didn't. I don't know. What is going on here? Are we scrapping? Oh, that's um, Sid's older sister, yo. What is your hair? Ma'am? <laughs> Bro. Got her in an arm lock, yeah. You been too busy to spend time with your sister? 
Oh, God, man. I hate seeing these track marks and stuff. She looks messed up. Have they ditched him out, yeah? They no longer see him as a suspect? Why is that like a train inside of what looks like a train car? Interesting design. Oh yeah, they got people watching him, lol. Of course, if he truly... Wait, what? Who's this? Oh, is this... Wait, is this one of his harem? Oh, shit. It's Alpha, right? Yeah. Nice. Is that a booger? You got me a booger? What are you doing on the side like that? She's just chilling on your desk like that, yeah? He really doesn't think they're taking this shit serious. That is so funny. She looks tall. Is she taller than him? I mean, she's an elf, right? They're supposed to be quite tall, aren't they? She began hella in his face right now. He's not even phased. Are you trying to undress me, man? Bruh. He's just so casually being undressed right now. Yo, that's sick. I love the slime outfits. Just your average 16-year-old girl in anime. Tell me if you change your mind, lol. Have we met Delta yet? I think we've only met, we've only met Alpha and Beta, right? Jesus, dude. Oh, she looks fucked up. What is this thing? Where the hell is he right now? All these fancy ass objects. Eminence and Shadow Collection? What is this shit, bro? Oh, I'm guessing this is Delta. Oh, we've seen Delta. Unless this is beta. I'm pretty sure this is beta, no? Bro, this guy. <laughs> oh, he's so dramatic. One hundred fourteen. That's a lot of people. Did you say that out loud? This guy. Bro, hundred and fourteen agents working under him. That's nuts. So that's Gamma, purple hair, alpha blonde hair, epsilon and delta. Okay. Sid is such a funny ass main character. I love him. Dramatic wind effect. And he puts on this voice as well when he's in this mood. <laughs> He just throw a shoe at him? Why? Bruh. Yeah? Just admitting that you guys have her? You guys are gonna die. Oh, she ended up killing those guys. Wow. <laughs> that smile on his face. Oh my god. Oh, that was badass. He's so fucking cool. Kind of lame at times with his, his dramatic shit, but he's very cool. We keep hearing about this Delta. Which one is she? The one with ears? Yeah, she is. Okay. Oh my god. That swordsmanship. Bro. Our organization is fucking shit up right now in this city. We are going to find her this night. I like how it's got like carts and stuff like that, old timey stuff, but then there's also like high rise buildings and stuff. The night order doesn't kill unless they need to. Yeah, it's not them, bro. 
So you're injecting this thing with her blood? You're dead. You're so dead. Oh my god. <laughs> that was brutal. This thing looks crazy. Yeah, I figured it was going to let her out. She helped it. She stopped it from getting um, beat up anymore. She brought the, uh, the attention of the guy back to herself. But this is what happens when you inject that thing with her blood. Interesting. Her sword's a little scuffed at the moment. Wee! I was right. <laughs> Dickhead. I mean, it was obvious. I don't want to give myself too much of a pat on the back, but yeah. Yep, he's definitely not perfect. Slay this man, come on. Knights of the round, yeah, knights of the round table. Oh, I mean, yeah, he's probably a, a, a much better swordsman, so this is going to be difficult. We need Sid. Fencer, Ordinaire, oof. Bro, where did... Oh my god, I thought she got stabbed. Where did her sword go? Oh, wow. Oh, god! Well, she's gonna fall for Sid. Oh, there he is, that boy. Oh, my friend, you are gonna get so fucked up. Does she know it's Sid? Oh, he's so dramatic. <laughs> oh, it's so funny knowing what he's actually like. I like how it tries to give us this cool anime main character vibe, but it actually shows he's just always in his head like, this is what I'm going to do to look really cool in this stage. <laughs> oh, Sid's a funny character. I like him. Stupidly strong. Even when he was getting tortured, he was just like, oh, this is so annoying. But uh, I'll just act through it, I guess. Um, but he was just perplexed by the fact that the NPCs were so NPC. I love it. He's so funny. Um, I'm gonna. I'm excited to see this guy get absolutely messed up by Sid right now. Um, but yeah, definitely seems like she's gonna fall for Sid after this. So who'd have thought? Not me. Um, definitely enjoying this anime so far. It's so ridiculous. I love it. But um, yeah, overall a very good episode, and I'm definitely looking forward to the next. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day, and peace out.